I'll try and make up for it. Okay, now, these people aren't necessarily like kings, but one of them is still alive and he's a sir, so it probably counts, right? Kind of royalty, almost. Two of them are still alive? No, who else is alive? Paul McCartney's alive. Who's the other one? That, he doesn't count. <laughs> he was just the drummer. <laughs> All right, let's do this. This song makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, I have four kids. I'm allowed to tell dad jokes. Okay, this next... <laughs> this next tune is a Beatles tune, but uh, we're doing a different version of it. My favorite version comes from another king of soul, Al Green.
flying through this set. I, I told you all that I was going to do a little bit of Filipino stuff, right? Yeah. I can't take that away from you. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Like, like I said, I was born and raised here in Ed, over in Edmonton. Um, but my parents still have super thick accents. My mom hates that I do this impression because the first one is of her. And again, I warn you all that the things that I'm saying, completely clean, but in this accent, they sound really dirty. Okay? So don't get up and leave. Just have another drink. It will all be fine. So I don't know if maybe some of you know this. I'm pretty sure it was in my bio, but I was on Canadian Idol. Uh, thank you for those of you that ever watched the show or remember it. I'm really excited that Sass Jordan is coming here. She hasn't seen me in like 15 years. I'm pretty sure she's still a fan of mine. <laughs> she return my calls or emails either, but that's good. Um, so anyway, when I got on the show, I, I got uh, one of those golden tickets that says that I'm going to Toronto to compete in the top 100. And my dad is my biggest fan. He doesn't care about anything whatsoever. He's a very stoic Filipino man. Doesn't say, uh, doesn't say a lot of jokes. He's, he's just been really serious. But when I told him I was heading to Toronto, he got super, super excited and would just want to help me. And I said, uh, right after I had just finished, I had hugged Kaylin Porter, uh, who was there at the same time as me, and I didn't have anyone with me. My girlfriend didn't make it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm not bitter about it. But no one was there to like congratulate me for getting this thing. So, so I called my dad and I said, Dad, 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 I'm going to Toronto, I got a golden ticket. Oh, okay, okay. You have to pack everything, okay? You have to pack your shoes, pack your bags. Do you have the sheet they gave you? Yeah, Dad. Pack that sheet. 